Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about the holiday season features for Android. This is different from the features we just got with the December 2022 feature drop for Pixel devices. And the main difference is the features I'm going to show you here are targeted to all Android users, not only Pixel users like the feature drop. Some of the features are available right now, so I'm going to give you a real hands-on experience, but others are not yet available on my phones, but still I'm going to talk about them. So let's see what we have. And the first holiday season feature I'm going to talk about is the huge list of collages you can find in Google Photos. So I'm going to select multiple ones here and then tap the plus, then collage. And as you see here, there are plenty of styles to choose from that fits pretty much all occasions and if you want to reorder or organize the photos you can simply drag them over and they will replace each other like this the second holiday season feature is the new stickers you can create by matching up two emojis so here's one of the examples you can create and as you see you have different varieties and here is another one Feature number three is the YouTube home screen widgets. Unfortunately, I didn't get any of them on my Pixel devices, but I'm going to show you an example from an iPhone. The first one will give you the ability to search and also some quick shortcuts for home, shorts, and subscriptions. But on Android, you will get one extra option, which is library. There is also a smaller one that will only give you the ability to jump to the search, and the same one will also be available on Android. Next, we have the Google TV app. Starting next week, you should be able to directly cast your media from the Google TV app to your compatible TV without the need to use the native streaming service app, and that will make it easier for you if you have multiple subscriptions. On top of this, we will get a redesigned remote control that will allow you to control multiple devices at the same time. And now the digital car key can be shared with friends and family, either if they are using Android or iOS, and you can view and change who has access to your car key in your phone's digital wallet app. Now let's talk about the new reading mode app. This app will allow you to read text better on your phone, so you can use it as an accessibility feature, or you can simply use it as something to make you more comfortable to read. So if you take a look here, once I open the app, it will show you a tutorial on how to use it. So let's go through it one by one. The first thing it says here, reading mode turns long content from apps or websites into a format that's easier to read. You can customize the font, spacing, hear content, read aloud, choose your preferred reading speed, and more. So let's tap on continue. The second thing it's asking you to do is to access your Android settings and turn on the reading mode shortcut. And that simply means you need to go to your accessibility settings. Uh, and if you scroll down a bit, you will see reading mode, turn on, allow, and here's the shortcut. So let's open one of the websites and see what's gonna happen. So now we have the website open, let's tap the shortcut and as you see the text is now much bigger and easier to read. On the top left corner it will show you the estimated reading time, you have a quick shortcut here to magnify the text if you want. And here you have the play button, so you can listen to the content instead of reading it. You have also another shortcut for the speed and when you go to settings you will get even more things to do. First, you have the same magnification options. You have different fonts to choose from. You can increase the spacing of the text. Next, we have the ability to choose between normal and bold text. And this is how it looks. Then we have plenty of options to choose from when it comes to the background color and also the text color altogether. And if you don't want to use any of these options, you can simply match your system theme. And if you are on light theme, it will look like this. And when you change to dark, it will look something like this. And when you scroll down, you have another option here called underline current text. And this will put a kind of horizontal line to show you where did you stop in the page. And finally here, when you press play, you will see two buttons on the left and right. When you tap and hold on this button, it will jump to the next paragraph. But when you tap it once, it will move to the next sentence. The second tab we have under settings is called audio. And here you can also change the speed and you have four different voices to choose from. So let me play a quick sample for each one. Google Apps updates EP53 to 20 new features. Here is the In first one. Apps Updates episode 1 will show you 20 new features and changes in 4 Google Apps, Google Photos, the third, Photos, YouTube app, YT Music and Android System Intelligence. And finally the fourth, Google Photos. 
Search now has a separate page with search suggestions and history. One more thing that happens while playing, when you scroll manually, you will get this arrow at the bottom right corner that will resync the scrolling with the audio again. But it's not only about reading content from the web, you can also read content from different apps. I started by trying it with Google Playbooks and also Amazon Kindle, but unfortunately it didn't work with both. So it seems this app is not designed to work with apps that are made mainly for reading books. But when you try it with, let's say Gmail and you open any of the messages you have, tap the button, you can read the message the same way. So if you have long emails, you can take advantage of this app. I also tried it with the about section of the Google Play Store. So if we're gonna go to the about screen, tap the button, and as you see, it will show you everything in big text. So it can be useful in most of the apps you use on a daily basis. And lastly, there are some information you need to know about the app that you will find in the about section under the Google Play Store. The first one is the app is integrated in the settings, so it's much faster to use. It has multi-language support, which are English, French, Italian, and Spanish. It can work on Android 9 or later. It's compatible with the talkback feature and the content never sent off your phone. And lastly, the Pixel Watch is expected to get some new features that I don't have just yet, like the new sunset and sunrise style, in addition to the favorite contacts that will make it easier for you to initiate a call. Google Keep on Wear OS will also get some updates like the ability to see the labels and the collaborations. The custom backgrounds, photos, and drawings will also be visible on your watch. Finally, you will be able to use Google Assistant to start 30 types of exercises with the Adidas running app, and it will start tracking immediately. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are the holiday season features for Android, and for the ones I couldn't show you in real life, you will see them in my upcoming Google Apps updates episodes. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.